6A. And the big story is a new team in 6A Region 3. Johnny Condon joins us now. And Johnny, the realignment made things pretty interesting in that class. Yeah, Jeff, I don't think I'm speaking out of school when I say that Class 6A might just be the most competitively grueling classification in the state. The talent in 6A football in Alabama is immense. And when it comes to the race for the blue map, well, the chase got even more difficult. It was just over eight months ago when Clay Chalkville upset Sarah Land inside Bryant Denny Stadium to win the 6A state title. And in that eight months, a lot has changed. Starting with the fact that the Cougars have themselves a new head coach in Stuart Floyd. And he wants to make one thing clear, this is a whole new season. You know, last year was last year. You know, that new trophy is being made. It's being held in Montgomery, and it's not, you know, last year's trophy is not leaving my office. The strength of the Spartan is the warrior at his side. And for the always consistent Mountain Brook, the secret sauce to their elongated success has always been in the little things. In Mountain Brook, you know, the, the gene pool is pretty homogeneous. You know, it, we're going to get what we're going to get. But what is exceptional to me is, is usually, you know, the unseen, the, the leadership qualities, the, uh, the character, you know, the discipline. Maybe the most talented roster in the state belongs to Frank Warren's Parker Thundering Herd, who are laser focused on finishing the job in 2024. It was almost there. We didn't finish, uh, but we, uh, we left a mark. I think we're almost there. We're really trying to kick the door down this year and let them know that we're here. And then there's the newcomers to Class 6A, the Spain Park Jaguars where after flashing at moments last season, they believe they have the roster to compete at the highest level of Class 6A. Yes, we are going down, but it's still going to be really good football. You're playing a lot of, uh, you know, communities who love their football. So when you, know, when, you, when you play those type of towns and those type of communities, they're going, they're going to get after it. And Jeff, despite dipping down from 7A to Class 6A, Spain Park will keep Hoover on the schedule. One of the best rivalries in our area will remain despite all the movement. Yeah, that'll be one to watch.